Brian, have you ever driven a car that just revs and never shifts like it's stuck in limbo? That's a CVT, a transmission that doesn't use gears, just pulleys and belts to simulate them. Sounds cool until you drive one. You mean those CVT things that sound like they're dying when you floor it? Exactly. That's a continuously variable transmission, and a lot of people hate them. But what's actually wrong with them? CVTs don't use gears. Instead, they have a belt and pulley system that changes ratios smoothly. In theory, it's more efficient. So why do people call them trash? Because they often feel weird. There's no shifting, no feedback. It just revs high and stays there. And that rubber band feeling, that's real. Okay, but are they unreliable? Yep, especially the early ones. Belts wear out, heat builds up, and they hate torque. Put a CVT in a turbo car, and it's like asking a blender to tow a boat. So they are bad for performance? Very. That's why you never see CVTs in performance cars. Manuals and dual-clutch automatics are still the go-to for speed and control. Then why do manufacturers use them? Fuel economy and cost. CVTs are cheap to make and they test well on emissions. That's why you'll find them in Nissan, Honda, Toyota, mostly in economy cars. So, it's the accountant's gearbox? Pretty much. Great for MPG. Awful for driving pleasure. Some newer CVTs try to fake gear shifts to feel more normal, but it's like putting a fake stick shift on a go-kart. Still not the real thing. So what's your take? Would you ever buy a car with a CVT? Let us know in the comments, and if you like cars and real talk, hit follow. Also, I just started a whole new car page from scratch to prove it's not luck. The full strategy I use is in the course, links in bio.